Hold on. So this uh this video is um on analysis paralysis. You've all heard it, uh, especially if you're trying to be an entrepreneur. Um, that's the big part of what uh, everyone struggles with. And I I, I want to make this uh this this video about analysis paralysis to encourage you really. To, you need to get over that. I mean, having that worldview, that, that being stuck and, and making decisions and, and just getting started in real estate, that's what that's uh, holds a lot of people back. Okay, I'm just I'm just going right to the jugular right now. You know, the reality is this: you can make money in real estate. Okay, however, how you make money in real estate is you actually do what you need to do, which is number one, talk to sellers. That's it. Talk to them. There's a trillion excuses why you can't. But if you don't talk to sellers, you're not going to be successful. If you're scrolling on Facebook or the internet, whatever, you know, connected investors or something, and you're trying to find other buyers, oh, hey, someone got a deal here or an agent. I'm talking to this agent. They've got this great deal. All I got to do is find a buyer. You're, you're, you're really, really, you're keeping holding yourself back. Okay. Is it easier? to try and be the middleman between finding another wholesaler who actually did the work and found a, a, an actual seller who actually called and knocked on doors or whatever. Is, is that easier just to try? Yeah, sure, it's easier. But who's doing all the work here? And who's probably going to get paid? The real estate agent who's out there hustling, talking to, to sellers, shaking hands, sending out mailers, you know, that kind of thing. Or the real estate wholesaler, right, who's out there looking for sellers, okay? Those guys are the ones making the money. You know why? Because they're hustling. They're waking up. They've got a trillion things to do. There's always problems. The cars run out of gas. Kids are sick. You know, they got an ingrown toenail, whatever it is. However, they're still out there talking to sellers and they get paid. Okay. That's what you need to do. So if you're starting out in this business, you're like, oh, there's so much here. I, I'm researching all the stuff, blah, blah. I would tell you the first thing you need to do. Okay is start talking to sellers. If you have a big budget, start doing marketing, okay? What kind of marketing? Just start, okay? And I've got plenty of videos now we can talk about that, but start marketing. Do, don't don't just go get stuck in for a month researching what kind of marketing you're going to do and then not actually do marketing. You're not going to make money doing that. Just start. And once you're doing it, then you can tweak things, Okay. Start talking to sellers. If you don't have money for marketing, that's fine. Get on for sale by owners, Zillow's Craigslist. Build a relationship with a real estate agent. Get expired listings. Partner with them. Call them. Expired listings. Talk to five sellers a day. Solve their problems, and you can make money. You, you can do this, but you just got to get up and do it. Put your excuses aside. You know, you got to time management. You got to do it, Okay. If you work full time, I, I understand. When you get off work, start hustling. Okay. Set time aside. You got to go to the garage or whatever, lock the door, get the kids out, do it. You got to shed out back, go out the shed. I mean, whatever you got to do, okay, do it. So you, and you can be successful and it's worth it. Trust me. Once you get a deal or two, gosh, it's fantastic and they'll change your life. You can do this. If you need help, you need clarification, potentially some joint ventures or whatever, you just want some. The clarification in business, let me know right or below. We'll schedule a Zoom call. Maybe we do some joint venture. Godspeed. See you on the next video.